Welcome to GSD Brainers, the place where curiosity meets discovery, the fiery end of the world. Not from a nuclear war or an asteroid, but from our very own sun. This might be more than just a plot from a science fiction novel, a real phenomenon we need to explore, the solar flare. Solar flares, these magnificent and terrifying eruptions from the sun's surface, are a testament to the sun's truly awe-inspiring power. They're a cosmic spectacle that has both fascinated and instilled fear in us. These flares, these bursts of energy, have the potential to unleash an apocalypse, a solar apocalypse, that could change life as we know it. Could a solar flare really wipe out all life on Earth? What could happen if a massive solar flare hit Earth? How likely are we to experience a solar apocalypse? Let's dive into the science to find out. To understand the potential threat, we first need to understand what a solar flare is. So let's take a journey into the heart of our solar system, the Sun, a giant ball of glowing plasma constantly churning with energy. Solar flares, in essence, are intense bursts of radiation that occur when the magnetic energy that's been building up in the solar atmosphere is suddenly released. Picture this. It's like a rubber band being stretched to its limit and then snapping back with incredible force, but on a cosmic scale. This magnetic snap releases a huge amount of energy into space, resulting in what we call a solar flare. Now, not all solar flares are created equal. They come in different sizes and intensities, much like earthquakes. The smallest ones, we call them A-class flares, are practically harmless. They're like a gentle solar sneeze. Moving up the scale, we have B, C, M, and the granddaddy of them all, X-class flares. These X-class flares are the real beasts. They're the ones that can potentially cause some serious havoc. But what makes these flares so different? It all comes down to the amount of energy they release. An X-class flare can release as much energy as a billion hydrogen bombs. That's a whole lot of energy. And when these flares are directed towards Earth, they can cause phenomena known as solar storms. But don't start panicking just yet. Our planet has a protective shield, the magnetic field, which usually deflects most of this harmful radiation. However, the most powerful flares can potentially disrupt this shield and cause some problems, especially for our technology. So solar flares are essentially gigantic releases of energy from the sun, dictated by the sun's magnetic fields, and they come in various sizes and intensities. They're a natural part of our solar system's life, a testament to the incredible power and energy of our star. Now that we understand what solar flares are, let's explore what could happen if one were to hit Earth. So what could happen if a massive solar flare hit Earth? Let's dive right in. Picture this. A colossal wave of charged particles is hurtling towards Earth at a speed of one million miles per hour. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi thriller, it's a solar flare. These intense bursts of radiation, although they can't pass through our atmosphere to harm humans directly, have the potential to wreak havoc in other ways. First, let's talk about technology. Our modern world is deeply intertwined with electronics and satellite systems. A powerful solar flare could disrupt these systems, causing them to malfunction or even fail completely. Imagine your GPS leading you astray, your credit card transactions failing, or worse, your pacemaker malfunctioning. It's a sobering thought. Next up is our power grid. A solar flare has the ability to induce large currents in our power lines, overloading the system and causing wide-scale blackouts. Think about the chaos that could ensue if the lights went out, not just in one city, but across entire continents. We're not just talking hours in the dark, but potentially days, weeks, or even months. Then there's the impact on our atmosphere. Solar flares can cause our atmosphere to expand, affecting satellites in orbit. This could lead to a decrease in the lifespan of satellites, as well as potentially damaging the International Space Station. And let's not forget the potential for widespread damage and disruption. Depending on the size of the flare, we could be dealing with billions or even trillions of dollars in damages. This could lead to economic instability and social unrest. So we've painted a pretty grim picture here, but it's important to remember that these are potential impacts. They are possibilities, not certainties. Scientists are constantly monitoring the sun and working on ways to protect our planet from these solar outbursts. The potential effects are certainly alarming, but how likely is it that we'll experience a solar apocalypse? Stay tuned to find out. The question remains, how likely are we to experience a solar apocalypse? Well, in the grand scheme of the universe, our sun is but a middle-aged star. Still, it's not immune to throwing a tantrum or two. 
Massive solar flares, also known as coronal mass ejections, have occurred in the past. The most notable one in recorded history, the Carrington event of 1859, sent a geomagnetic storm that caused auroras visible as far south as the Caribbean and disrupted telegraph systems worldwide. Based on historical data, scientists estimate that the probability of a solar flare of this magnitude hitting Earth in the next decade is about 12%. That's roughly a one in eight chance. Quite a gamble, isn't it? The good news is we're not sitting ducks. The scientific community is actively working on ways to predict and prepare for such events. Agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency have satellites constantly observing the sun, looking for signs of increased solar activity. Efforts are also being made to improve our infrastructure's resilience to solar storms. This includes hardening power grids and communication systems against potential electromagnetic interference. The goal is to minimize the potential damage and ensure quick recovery if a massive solar flare were to hit. Researchers are also studying past solar events to better understand their behavior and impact. This includes investigating fossil records of solar activity left in tree rings and ice cores, which provide a longer term view of solar behavior than our recorded history. It's not all doom and gloom though. While a solar apocalypse could cause significant disruption and damage, it's unlikely to wipe out all life on Earth. Our planet's magnetic field and atmosphere offer substantial protection against solar radiation, and life has survived solar storms for billions of years. While the threat of a solar apocalypse is real, it's important to remember that we're not completely defenseless. With continued research and preparation, we can hope to mitigate the impact of a potentially catastrophic solar flare. So, to sum up what we've learned, solar flares are both fascinating and somewhat terrifying phenomena. These intense bursts of radiation originate from the sun's magnetic energy, and while they're a common occurrence in our solar system, their potential impact on Earth is not to be underestimated. We've delved into the science behind these cosmic events, exploring how they form and what makes them so powerful. The possibility of a solar apocalypse, while unlikely, is not completely out of the question. Our sun is a volatile and unpredictable force, and we must be prepared for all possibilities. This includes understanding the risks, preparing for potential outcomes, and continuously investing in research and technology to protect our planet. While the sun is a source of life, it's also a force to be reckoned with. So next time you look up at the sky, remember it's not just a ball of light, but a powerful cosmic force with the potential to change life as we know it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with your friends and family. And for more brain-boosting content, hit that like and subscribe button.